group called Brown. Brown. Yeah, me. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Jay, you hear me? Hmm? You hear me, yeah? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, bro? Welcome to Bro Live Sessions, round five. How you feeling? Look at this guy. <laughs> AJ. Yo. How you feeling? Bro, I'm just in that, that, that space, in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... Alright, alright. Okay, listen, listen. Alright, so we're gonna be talking about your upcoming battle with Jester, yeah? My bro. Mm -hmm. Um before we get into that, everything good with you, yeah? In your life. Are you family good? Nah. Those are got shit that's going on out away from away from rap. Do you know what I'm saying? What did Tech say? Why so serious, AJ? Why not? Spell AJ, rap. Mm -hmm. Fuck. AJ, Oh, so you got, you got shit going on? Yeah, yeah, I got shit going on away from battle rap. Um, if anybody can follow my homie, Nkusi J or Annabelle, they've got a petition up right now. Do you know what I'm saying? They need to get their shit sorted out in terms of marriage and stuff like that, and they're being restricted. So, you know, um, whenever you look get a chance, go follow them. I'll put the shit up after this and whatnot. You know what I mean? So, do you know what I mean? Like, Sometimes life get real in it. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, when life gets real, bro, you have to just try and step away and handle that shit. So like my homie said, I've just been in in war mode. Sometimes it's good to prepare for something like like a rap battle where you feel like you can just release everything out like that. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's one of the positive when it comes to rap. Like just the black coming up, so I've got a couple questions for you, yeah? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. chat. Right, so um regarding this battle, it's on no loose chat. This is your second time on no no loose chat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um how's your preparation been for this battle for Jester? Are you ready? Do you need more time? Are you locked in? Like what's your prep been like? I can go right now. A what? And I can and I could spit my rounds backwards if you want me to. No. You locked in like that? I can go from round three to round one without stumbling right now. So this one's a three rounder, right? Yeah. All right, because um, I'm at each other with one rounder. It's a three rounder. Three so rounds. You're locked. All three rounds, you're locked in there. You could go right now. Snoop flip the coin. Right now. Um, no problems. You know what I'm saying? This is the quickest I've prepped for a battle. This is the most I've written. I've had to cut shit out i've had to trim my material and make sure it's exactly two minutes and some change and whatnot you know what i'm saying because what do you mean it's the quickest you've prepped what do you mean by that like i asked for jester i asked for him um snoop locked him in within 12 hours and within the next 12 i was done with my first round jeez why Jester, bro? Why out of everyone that you could have picked at this time, why did you feel you could, like, have a clip for Jester? Why Jester Black? Because, um, as you know, I'm a, I'm a pensmith. I, I'm, I'm somebody that I feel like I, I, re I respect my pen. I feel like my, I can match my pen up with people who are, um, you know, regarded as, as the top pens, as the top lyricist people and whatnot. And I feel like, as a pensmith, that's who you need to match up with. Like, a pensmith is not going to have a good battle with, let's say, um, a jester, no pun intended. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, or a pensmith's not going to have a great battle with a performer. Like, that's going to be like a, a clash of stars. So, for instance, if you look at someone like JC and Chilla, it's a great matchup pens-wise. Or Craig Lamar and JC, that's a great matchup. Rum Nitty and, and Iron. Pensmiths, like I'm looking to 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 clash with people who are regarded as as top pens in the scene, and he's one of them. Do you know what I'm saying? He's one of the people that are looked at, looked as, looked on as lyrical, as pen, as you know what I'm saying, bar heavy in that aspect. Um, so I asked for him. Obviously, a few people respect his work from a pen standpoint. A lot of people put him up there in that aspect. 
um, and he has a poetic background. I got a poetic background, and every time I meet up with a poet, like it brings out an extra layer in me. If that makes up, if th- if that makes sense, especially because that's what I am also. So, do you feel so like you as a style, style clash, it works for you? Like, you feel as a style clash, it could like make a classic. Is that what you're saying you want to make a classic? Yeah, facts because. You have to know. You have to know you're laying in it. Some people are haymaker, crazy, do you know what I'm saying, type people, and then some people are led. Yo, say that again. Rewind type shit. Do you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, and he's one of the people that you may catch. Let's say about seventy percent in the room, and then when you go home, it's like, oh shit, mm-hmm. he said, he said that. What the, f-? you know what I mean? So, um, I just feel like. At this point, he's one of the people that 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 are up there in terms of in terms of pens and his poetic background as well. It's it's competitive because you know you know what the stigma is in the scene. They don't feel like poets can hang. <laughs> GM's in, so instead of trying to um, instead of trying to go against the people that that don't think that we can hang, I'll go with another poet that I know can hang that has shown himself in different aspects and make that battle happen and make it and take the stigma off. Do you know what I mean? So these are some of the reasons why I felt like um, it would be a good matchup and just yeah. big up to Snoop and the team. Like they didn't waste no time with that. As soon as I asked for him within the same day, the next day it was locked in. And then within that next day, I locked my first round in and I was done my first round. So, so Yeah. I was going to ask you what you feel about Jester, but you've literally answered the question. So you rate his pen? You mm, rate- I respect his pen, and obviously he's young. It's not a lot of young people that are trying to rap like that anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, you know. The question about yeah. Jester, one quick question about Jester. A lot of people, every time he battles, they throw his accent. They throw that shit. Oh, his accent, his accent. What do you think about that? That the fans they say crazy. I have an accent, don't they? They say the same shit about me. They say the same shit on why you sound like that, blah, blah, blah. And in my brain, it's just like, are you listening or you just caught up with the flow for real? Like, what are you really listening to? Because in my brain, it's about the content. I don't care about what his, his uh, do you know what I'm saying, what his accent is like. I think Jester is about 19, 20, 19, something like that. Yeah. It's like 19. So, crash, crash the Joker. He said, "AJ gonna." He also answered himself. He said he's nineteen. So you see, when someone young like that and they're hungry like that, um, I fuck with that because you know that's the same energy I walk around with. I'm not as young as Jester, but I need someone that's gonna be on go, like, and he's just one of the people he don't mind, isn't it? And in terms of stature wise and and one, I feel like he's done a lot. So. Coming off of um, his last performance, even though people say it wasn't a good one and whatnot, we, we'll talk about we'll talk about it on the day. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say too much. We'll talk about it, but it what was. What did you it think was, of that final? That was my questions for you. What did you think of his final with Celesta? Was that the like? How much have you watched Jester and compared to that final? What did you think of it? I've seen other Jesters that were better. I'm not about to sit here and cap and say like that was his best performance because it wasn't. I think he will tell, he'll be the first one to tell you that. Do you know what I mean? He'll tell you that it wasn't a, um, it wasn't a good performance. He'll say that. Do you know what I'm saying? I've seen the graphic gamma. I've seen, um, what's it? DTM or whatever the other guy's name is. I've seen that. I've seen other, uh, jesters that were better. Um, but, you know, in terms of that particular performance, it weren't the best and he got clipped. He knows that. He knows he got clipped. He knows he fucked up. Um, he knows that we don't expect him to fuck up like that. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? But, like, that's what comes with it. He got there. It's people that are chatting that ain't that ain't got there. <laughs> like, he's got that over a lot of people, you feel me? So, I, I need to see what that's about. Obviously, like, Premier Bowers is a big, is one of the top leagues in the country. And if we could get to a final like that, you know, there's got to be some sort of recognition there. Yeah? So, you know what I'm saying? But yourself, um, AJ, because um, obviously I was there when you made your debut up until now. 
Yeah. What's your, your opinion, your hardest opponent up till now? And what's been your best performance up till now? Um, so I'll say two things. Uh, the hardest person to prep for was um, FT, just knowing that I didn't know what he was going to come with. And he's very unpredictable. Uh, GM saying you don't know what FT is going to show up. You don't know if he's going to uh, muck around. You don't know if he's going to punch you in the face. You don't know if he's going to walk off set. You have no idea what he's going to do. And I remember before the bag to call him like a few times and let him know, like, bro, look, yeah, we're bad. <laughs> I don't care about none of this other like stuff. Let's make a great battle. And if you notice up to now, that's one of the best FTs we've ever seen. That's that's what happens. Like, I, I make sure that the best of themselves show up. Um, in terms of the the best opponent I faced, though, um, I would say that's Caps. Like, he is somebody that's been around for a while. He knows he knows the, he's been around the block. He's seen them all. He's seen different times. He's seen them come and go. He's been here, and it's like if you can't stand in front of him, then you can't rap. Do you know what I mean? So. He'll he'll get you clean out of there for real. <laughs> Caps is a killer. He's one of my favorites in the UK, bro. Like on his day, Caps is a killer. Yeah. So if you go to toe, and let me just speak for me, your Caps performance. I've said this on camera before. Which mm -hmm. is your is your best performance? Like you reach a level, and um, do you think you can go up another level? Do you think that's your cap? To say, or where do you think your performance is going to go from now? If you rap, I swear I'm going to kick you in the face, bro. That's the way to go. Yeah, I feel like the first time I'm going to camera in a minute. You're funny as hell. Um, and that's what happens. That's what that's what rap does. It will put you in a completely different space. But in terms of caps, like, I learned from, I learned from that performance. I learned from that on top of that. Like, he said it himself. He felt like he made a monster of me because I've been so super duper locked in from there. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? I don't really say too much. Like, I've, most of the time I feel like I, need, I should let my work talk, but this one is a little different. I just feel like I need to, to let niggas know, like, this is not a joke. I don't joke anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't joke anyway, but, like, it seems like there's some sort of discrepancies and a lot of people have him winning. So it's like, oh, yeah, okay. You lot think he, this the one? Like, this this the guy? This this him? You lot putting him like that? Mm -hmm. Lock that shit. Pensman, you, yeah? Lock hey, that yeah. shit. Let's go. So. I was going to get into this. Who do you think is a favorite? Like, putting, um, who do you think the, the people feel is a favorite for this Jester AJ battle? Um, I would say he's definitely the favorite, but that's not a surprise to me. I've never been a favorite. Like, Why I've never gone. I've, I've never. Well, well, remember he's he's been seen more. He's been put on a bigger platform. He's he's battled on Premier Battles. I ain't touched Premier Battles yet. Not only did he battle on Premier Battles, and he's got a lot of battles on there, but he went to the final of an academy last year. A lot of people, quote unquote, know him outside of like the home team outside of london and whatnot um um and do you know what i'm saying and like based I mean, on, on that based on that a lot of people those people will have winning where i'm from not really like that you know what i'm saying but even I mean, where i'm from some people <laughs> some people have him so you know I mean, I, actually stupid Bro, I mean, he said five racks. He's got Jester winning that battle. Tammy's oh. stupid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> funny as though. Bro, AJ, I'm done. So Jester's saying he's the underdog, and you're Bro, saying can we can we be see this? Is what I'm saying, keep it like I'm keeping it, but I don't know what Jester's seeing. This is what I'm seeing. Do you know what I'm saying? Jester might see something different, but from what I'm seeing, he's getting more engagement. A lot of people. Are rooting for him more publicly, GM saying, um, in the forums, in the chats, and shit like that. It's really not like that for me, for real. <laughs> and I don't got a problem with that because, like I said, I'm used to that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I've never been a favor. I've never been like, oh yeah, I got AJ 2 1 clear. It's never been like that. So mm -hmm. this is nothing new to me. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
Every time I rap, I'm an underdog. I came in my first battle being an underdog. And then against Ronan, I was an underdog. Against FT, I was an underdog. Against Caps, I was an underdog. Against Jay Franklin, he was a fucking rookie. And I was bigging him up. So I thought he clipped him. And we ain't even seen the footage yet. So yeah. there's that. Okay, on current form, yeah. On cu- current form. Yeah. You say you're a fan. Who do you think is the favorite? Not based on popularity or numbers. On current form, who is the favorite for this battle? If we're, basing, if we're basing it off last performance, the, my last performance was Jay Franklin and Caps. His last performance was Celeste. So, right. if we're basing if we're basing it off of that, especially because a lot of people um, have seen that final now and bought the pe- the pay per view, they would probably say that I've come off a good performance, but the judges had me losing, right? He come with a bad performance and loss. So they would probably say that because I stood in front of somebody like Caps and if it wasn't for the setting in terms of it being a tournament, they could debate for me more. They'd probably say that they'd like me more than him. Um, mm-hmm. So in that sense, they might say me. But if we're talking about the overall things, um, taking everything into consideration, coming into it, like let's say if we remove that Celeste battle and they just put us both straight up, they would say him. Mm-hmm. I hear you. I hear you. So, like, we're not losing this battle. Like, if you win this battle, just say for example, you body Jester, yeah, like you mm-hmm. body Leo. What does it do for your career? Where can you go in your career? And then, vice versa, if you lose, if he bodies you, what happens to you? Well, let's go from his perspective, right? Um, people that rap know that it's not easy. Um. Mm-hmm. To do what I do, to come like I come. A lot of pensmiths and a lot of lyricists people like to be laid back, like to be chill. They don't really have the extra layer of energy and whatnot. So if you can stand in front of that, that's pretty much props. Not a lot of people <laughs> that can stand in front of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I bring out the best in people all the time. Every person I've faced, I bring out their best all the time. We ain't seen that cats be like that since... Um, James and since see, since I Amy, mean, since all of them, since Devian and whatnot, bring out the best. FT ain't been like that since Amy. Uh, like Ronin ain't ever been that way or that aggressive like that. And he got his ass dirty. We ain't seen him since. Mo, I got one of the best mocs. We had a classic. You can literally introduce somebody to battle rap by watching our shit. So. If you thirty, so if you thirty me like that, and you know how I come every time, that does a lot for you. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, vice versa, because of the amount of people that know Jester, if I thirty him, um, do you know what I'm saying? And if I get him out of there, a lot of people gonna see that, and a lot of people gonna want to see my other work. To me, I personally feel like people just need to see the work. I don't think the work's the problem; it's the eyes, it's the amount of people that see it. So if I get him out of there. It's going to do a lot in terms of more people going to see it. More people are going to be in tune. They're going to want to know, yo, Jester got 30 clipped like bad and he came with it. Like mm-hmm. that's gonna do a lot in that sense. Because like mm-hmm. I said, I don't think the work's the problem. I just feel like the exposure and whatnot is. Um, so, you know, and I feel like Nolly's Child doing the right thing. They're giving us a platform to rap. Do you get what I'm saying? They're putting us on, on um, VOD, like, they're doing, they're giving us all the space to do that. Like we picked the, the time limits, like two minutes and some change and whatnot. So we got all the tools and whatnot. Like they didn't tell me, no, I can't get Jester. He can't. No, they set everything up straight up. They said, yeah, we go in. This the time, this the date, like, and we're making it happen like that. So, so, you know. This is just about, like, I'm sensing both of you have respect for each other it's coming from respect there's no like oh i'm gonna kill him because i hate him blah 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 you literally have well, well yeah let me can i address that like bro this is bad rap i don't go hate someone to want to kill him like it made me it made me want to kill him more because i respect him that's one thing like i want to kill him more because i got respect for him i want him to know yo you nice and i killed you because you nice mm. You know what I'm saying? If you the homies, you know this already. If we out and we go, let's say we go kick bull and we playing 
um, GM saying, I don't know what we're playing. That game where you have to not make each other. Yo, if I not make everybody, and they're the homies, when we go home, guess what I'm going to say? Nah, I got all of you lot. You lot can't say shit to me because I got all you lot. If we playing ball and we playing 21 and they're the homies, you know how that go. You're going to trash talk. You're going to bring out your shit because you know that if you don't, the homies going to get on your ass because you lost. That make you want to do it. That make you want to go even harder. So I don't have to be disrespectful to want to, like, to wanna kill him. Like, you like two yeah. guys fight in the schoolyard and like everyone's watching you. Yeah. yeah. This you're gonna have like the no news chat eyes. Obviously, yeah. just from premier. You're gonna have the premier eyes. Yeah. He's from, from Ireland, so Rackers full eyes are gonna be on this battle. So you got a lot yeah. of different UK battle rap eyes on this battle. Like um, Rackers are facts. Um, what was I gonna say? Even Seven Mitchell and them lot. They're like salute to them. I just did a biology with them. Like, it's a lot more people locked in than normal, and I feel like that's a positive. Um, so like I said, if I know them people are watching, why wouldn't I bring my best? Why wouldn't I? Like, it's not like I don't bring my best, but what I'm saying is, it's, it's a little bit extra now. Do you feel what I'm saying? So why wouldn't I come 110%? I've never played in a battle ever, ever, nope. Nope. ever. Nope. I didn't play in an interview. You know how that was. My first interview, I weren't playing, like before I even rapped. Well, you rapped. As I said, I had you in the Hey, don't worry, we already spoke to AJ. He's a problem. Facts, Prem see Premier Battle know what's up. They know. They know what's up, man. Salute to Briggs and them. They know what's up. Like, and that's what I mean. If I was playing around in my battles, man, Premier Battle's not gonna say shit to me. Oh, they know. They know. <laughs> they're not gonna know. They're not like like bro, it's not like they're the only league watching. How'd I get on Don't Flop? You think I'll go on Don't Flop by fucking around in my battles, bro? Who f like this battle rap? Who, who fucks around in battles, bro? You say I'm not one of them. That's what I'm trying to say. Like I don't understand this shit. I name myself the Grim fucking Reaper, bro. Don't name myself the Grim Reaper by joking around. This ain't no joke, bro. Listen, when was this ever a joke? When did I ever joke? I've never joked in a battle like that. You know what I'm saying, what's who's on your hit list, UK wise, like? If you had a hit list, come the fuck outside, bro. I'm gonna keep saying that I will say this shit every interview until the niggas see this shit. Villain, come the fuck outside. Ami e gotta come outside. Crash gotta come outside. Like, bro. Villain's going live with Jenny in a bit, you know. He's gotta see this still. You I'm just villain, saying, yeah? I want villain, Ami e, Crash. Bring them niggas outside, bro. Fuck. Anyone from um, Premier you want? Uh, Georgie Root? No. Um, no. no. LSD? No. I'll take L I think he's cold. You know what I'm saying? I'll take LSD. Um, Celesto. I think he's... I'll, I'll stand in front of that. I think he's cold. Back. Yes, Mac is called, so I'll take Mac too. Out of those three, I'd want Mac the most. Out of villain, no, no, out of our Celesta, Mac, and who was the other one? LSD. I'd want Mac the most. See, Moke, no, Moke knows, man. Moke, was Moke. I playing? I wasn't playing in a promo, Moke. I wasn't I playing in a promo. Serious. I understand that shit. Like, no, I don't go hate a nigga to want to kill him, bro. What the fuck? What are you not going to say? Bro, Rex has the best face-offs ever, and then he dies in battles, bro. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, Rex will have the greatest face-off ever, and then he'll die. What the fuck right. are we talking about? We it's died. not no game to me, bro. Never. You oh, feel me? All right, so do you feel do you feel Jesse Black's fully prepped for this battle? Like, I he know has that's to. Not, you think he has to be? He has to be. Oh yeah, Moke. Yeah, nah, not Georgie Roots. Nah, bro. Moke, you got that. That's all you, bro. That is all you. <laughs> I don't want none of that. That's all you, bro. You feel me? I might talk to Georgie Roots about Moke. Them two are killing me. Moke, bro. Moke, three zero. Fuck that. Thirty. <laughs> 
Is this battle judged, right? Nah. Straight up. No judge, no nothing. We going straight up, backyard fade, one-on-one. -on -one. No nothing. I don't want no judges. I don't want no nothing. I want him by myself. I don't need nobody telling me, no, because it's a, nah. We going straight yeah. head up, like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. We're going to make this a goodie. Like, there's no... That, and that's, that's another thing I wanted. I didn't want no extra shit. Give me Jester. Do you know what I'm saying? Give me Jester straight up. No bullshit. No nothing. Give Let us go so we ain't doing no 90 second shit because that's another thing with certain I settings. On two minutes. Two minutes and then with some grace period. Look at them. Tech. Never 3 -0. Georgie Georgie 2-1. All right. Well, I got milk 30. Next. Anyway, um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do a poll for this battle. Um, you and I'm gonna do a poll for every battle, but you and Jester, we're talking about now. What do you think? Um, how do you think it will go? Do you think like 60 40, 50 50? What do you think the brillers are saying? I don't know because you look brillers keep it real, so I don't know. You know, I can't, I can't gauge it. I can't engage it with you, look, like, because your, your pose is pretty decent. If we put like a general poll, like let's say if it was a forum poll or something, I don't know, that might go to him because they know him more. With a bro poll, I don't know. Um, and at the end of the day, of course, I'm going to say Moak mo home team. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. AJ so, asked for smoke when Penn start, when Prem start. Okay, cool. I got Moak 2-1. See? Queen P know what's up. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Anyway. Who, who do you think, apart from your battle, who do you think could be like the surprise battle or battle rapper on this card? It's a fire card. Me? Who do you think? Me? <laughs> Nigga? Me? So this guy, Me? No. Me? I said, apart from you. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga? <laughs> so you're going to be. Um, yeah. um, um, I'm looking forward to Ams and Trouble and I'm looking forward to um I'm looking forward to the final salute Whitey and Tech. Uh do you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking forward to Milk and Roots. Those are the three I'm looking forward to. I think the sleep on the card, if it's not me and Jester, is actually um Enigma and um Nobi. Yeah, that's a sleeper right there. That's Your a roots. sleeper, like and that's what I mean by pens. They got them sneaky pens, boy. Hey, if you don't come, how? <laughs> eee, they might clip you and it might look bad because on camera it's going to look worse. And some of they like throwing in little haymakers in there and shit. So that's, I would say that's a sleeper. And that's yeah. another thing about the battle. Like, we got that energy right now. And every time we step on a, on a card, it's, it's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I'm saying, us newbies ain't playing around. We'll make trailers that I started, by the way. Um, we'll make trailers and shit. Do you know what I mean? We'll talk our shit like it's not no dead nothing with us. There's energy behind us and whatnot. Now look at the card. They had to change the shit to the final process. You feel me? They had to change the name. What did he say? He said, none of you men are beating DZ. He's too lyrical, too much schemes, and too much energy. Maybe I might need to check his workout. I might need to check his workout. You know what I'm saying? I'll battle him. Whoever they think is a lyrical nigga, this one's that's that, that's my mission. The lyrical niggas, that's who I want to be battling. Oh, Yen is very. Have you watched his battle? You watch his battles, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. He's a little. Easy. Um, you know what I'm saying. Look at Tech. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, Tech. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> AJ. What's your name? Huh? You want to know who I got? For who? For you and um, Jester Black. Yeah, bro, keep it real, man. I got you 2 1. Okay, that's respectable. I would have liked to hear you say they, but I'll take a 2 1. 2 1. I'll take a 2 1. I'll take that. Well, right, one more question, yeah? Um, AJ, one more question. Salute to DZ. Salute to DZ every time. Yeah, go on. After this, after this battle, you got anything locked in, or are you you're just waiting for the next plate? I'm waiting for the next plate, but if we're talking on N um no loose chat, like I would like to see. Um, yeah, I don't know who they got for me next, but I know who who's the next people I want. Mac, um, Ams, Crash, people like that. 
them them niggas need to come outside. You know what I'm saying? Away from N- NLC. Um, you know what I'm saying? We said those names as well. No, I want you to battle. Gone. The last. He's another one. Like I've said, his. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why these lot, these pen smiths that don't like rapping no more. I don't understand what it is. So villain don't want to rap no more. So last don't want to rap no more. Or he rap in a different way. Like he don't. He don't want to rap in battles. That would be cold to me personally. I feel like that would be a cold matchup. I yeah. do. I feel like that would be cold. Salute okay. Messi as well. Messi would be cold as well. That's another one. He'd be cold. Anyone from the US you want to smoke? Chef Trez. What? Chef Trez. Why Chef of all people? Because he will He will actually do it. Like, he's somebody that's cold, but he'll do it. Like, he, he's... Because a lot of the Americans, they've got... Um, pride in it. They might. Oh, who's this London boy? Huh? It seems like Chef Trez would do it if you if you were coming there. I feel like he would do it. That's the thing. Well, him nice. and um, who's the nigga that painted his face and called him? What, what's the nigga that painted his face? Oh, well, him. Bro. Since since he since he want to call himself the Reaper, like Reaper Rel. No, stupid. That's my shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shit. Fuck is you talking about, bro? Smoke, my bro. Bro. I had to show my face real quick. Do you get what I'm saying? Salute to you. Salute to everything. Yo, that top 10 list, though? Okay. Bro, okay. That was dope. That was dope. Because you kept it real, like, and you actually had honorable mentions. And for people that don't know, he said it weren't in no order. This is just the 10 people he got his eyes on. So you lot don't be mad at the order, bro. I don't know why people kept that. Uh, <laughs> you know, on Facebook, I had guys come at me like, why is he number nine? Why? <laughs> What? And then I had a battle rapper called um, Tom Frost. He was going on my neck on Twitter, bro. Like, I should have been. Oh, bro. He said this in no particular order. This is just the 10 people he know. I don't think people be watching this shit, man. They're just looking for the title, with it? But yeah, you have to be on the list. Shout out to the rest on the list. Oh, yeah. Salute to that list, man. Like, you know, you already know. Man, like a second, okay, man. No, I'm like second, okay. Your donut crap. <laughs> it's not in order, bro. <laughs> this guy's stupid. not in order, man. Yeah, it's gonna be in order still, like for real, for real. When the 2022 one is gonna be in order, and it's gonna, it's not gonna be up and coming. It's gonna be my top ten in UK. And oh, like, what? Like, is it active or non-active, or just in general? It's gonna be active. Okay, you gotta say these things, you know, because they go, bro. You're gonna have dialect come out and say, Yo, I want mobos and shit, and you ain't dialect gonna come out your neck, boy. You don't have him at number five, that nigga gonna come out your whole neck. I don't want fire or smoke with dialect, right? Hey, bro, if you don't put scoop in there, your shit ain't right, bro. People gonna come at (laughs) you. Who shut the page down? But yeah, He's man, the one in there, you know what I'm saying? It's been a pleasure. But like I said, me and Jess are going to have a firecracker for real. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I don't hate him. I respect yeah. him. So it make me want to kill him more. Mm. That's that's the whole point. You know, don't understand. Like, like Bruno, I've been serious from the beginning. It's not going to change. I'll throw in a sarcastic line in my bow. A line. That's it. I don't do mom jokes. I don't. I killed the last mom joke rapper I stood in front of. I thirty clipped him. Shit. No caps. Shit. No. Nope. Jay Franklin ain't bow again. He went back to freestyling or whatever it was that he was doing before this. This is not just for just anybody. You know what I'm saying? Cool, cool, cool. My bro, I'll I'll holler you later, though, bro. I'll holler you later. But safe for coming on the bro live sessions, bro. Just throw it in rewind. The poetry's refined. Going in fine. Every time you get a loaded line, the corona gets a lime.